All right, what's up guys? So today we are talking about structs. So you can see here, I already have some code set up, really basic code. And I'm gonna make a struct and then we're gonna talk about what it is and what it does. So I'm gonna call it a prism. It's gonna have a length, a width, and a height. Okay, so a struct, is an object and in that object it has field values which are these length width and height values that i have here and then when you have these field values you can use them in other functions or use them whichever fashion you're trying to do so let's let's show how we use a struct if i call prism insert some values i put two three and four and then I'm gonna print out p dot length, p dot width, and p dot height. And let's show that. Okay. So what happened here is I created this struct, and this is just the <clears throat> like the framework code. This doesn't actually do anything quite yet. Now here is me actually calling it in a similar fashion where if you have a function and if you don't call it, it won't do anything. This is me calling main. This is me calling my struct. So in here, it's using a default constructor, which that's that's a key thing here. This is just using the default constructor and I'll be going more into constructors in the next video and inserting these values into our field values, length, width, and height. And then in here, you can see that I'm not actually just calling length, but I'm calling p.length. Because this is a field value of p, because p is a prism, I can call, I can do this dot syntax where it's p.length, p.width, and p.height. And that passes the value from the struct into the, the print ln statement in this case, which allows us to do some cool things. So in here, it's a very simple situation. Like, let's say we have a really complicated struct. Um, you're collect collecting tons of data. Let's say you're looking at dirt. All right, dirt at, at a high level is just dirt. But at a low level, it has density, it has uh, conductivity, it has all these different kinds of values and parameters that can describe, describe the consistency of dirt and if you're some kind of seismologist or some other kind of scientist that's really interested in some kind of object, you need to be able to describe it. And it's easier if you're able to collect them all into to one container. So in here, we I just called the values. So let's let's say we want to actually use them now. Um, I'll make a volume function, and we're going to pass the prism. Let's do that. And it'll be v equals p dot length dot width. And okay, so I can get rid of that. And now I'm just going to call volume and pass p to it. All right, cool. So now we have the prism. It's being created and it has these three values allocated to the p value, the p variable. And now in this case, I'm passing that p variable to volume because volume takes prism. So I can just work with it. And I am in here, I'm pulling out the field values to do the multiplication, in this case, to get the volume. And then if I want to do other stuff, like let's say I wanted another function for the surface area. Where I named off. Uh, okay, so that's one is p length times p width is p length. Is 
3p width times p height. All right, and as a for surface area is two times s one plus s two plus s three. And then we end it. Area passing p. Okay, that was a bit of code. Hopefully that was followable. <laughs> um, okay. So surface area, I didn't do, I mean, this isn't too different from volume. It's in a different math operation, but you can see it's a similar fashion. We're calling the field values from prism. It's being passed here and it's doing some multiplication and saving these variables and then doing some math and outputting that value out here for surface area. Okay, so that was, that was very basic introduction to structs. There is more complexity to this, which I'm going to go into the next video and go more to the constructor. Because you can see here, I was, I was talking about default constructor, which is all what I used here. There's definitely more complexity with the constructor and just the, the intricacies of using a struct. But also a lot of that stuff is a bit more higher level and it's really you just need to some quick and dirty stuff to know how to code a structs, then this is pretty much all you need. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video.